Hey YouTube, uh, this is David with Richter Scale Studios again. I just wanted to um, work on these wheels again. Uh, I guess we are starting part 10. So I got the base color out. This is uh, Green Gray by uh, Vallejo Model Color. And I just got it here on the palette, uh, just a couple drops of it. And I got a medium Citadel dry brush out. And you saw where I originally did that liquid sand, which looked really cool, but the depth was in there. So I flooded everything with a uh, one of my um, washes I made. It's a 50-50 uh, black and sepia mix. So it really got the depth in the wheels now. You can see it through the camera, there's lighting. And what I want to do is I want to bring out the uh, the depth, because now it's all shaded. Now I just got this light dry brush going. I'm just going to hit it. I think that works. Let's try it on the other wheel. Oh wait, there we go. There's more paint on there. There we go. I must have wiped all the paint off. Then we'll go in and weather it later, but look how that just brings out the, uh, makes it pop. Let's see if we can do one right over here. Let's just do this wheel. Dry brushing is really appropriate for this. this. is all dinged up and scratched and worn stuff. I think I'm going to start painting the outside of these road wheels too eventually that go into these uh, tracks. Then when we do the eventual oil wash, and after that we'll do the uh, flooding of the sand color. And I think that's what will be the ticket for this. But you know, this is experimentation. I'm doing light, light coats, everything. And try to get this color going. Get these rims without getting the tires too much. Looks like I had a little bit of pooling there. That could be grease too. So let's just try that and try to take that out. Yeah, there we go. Tone all that down. I'm going to go in and uh, we'll scratch it up and show some metallics later too. But I just wanted to bring some more depth into the wheel. And I started this one over here and we got that going pretty well. So I'm just going to finish this up right now. I don't want to waste your time. It's been long enough for you to watch me babble. So um, I will see you in the next video. And uh, welcome to part two. Well, I've let the... Um, dry brush of the base color of the green gray dry on the um, uh, wheels that I've dry brushed over the uh, wash and over the sand wash kind of screwed around with that I'm going in now with my chipping color and that's the um, game colors opaque he opaque heavy charcoal that's like the old Charon granite from uh, GW I don't know the GW colors anymore I don't use GW paint that much except for a couple washes so um, I got that on a self-closing tweezer and I just put some uh, blister foam in it and took some dollar store scissors and gave it a really quick random haircut and kind of just trying to get all that most of that paint off because I don't want a heavy heavy chips on here so I'm going to go in and then start chipping these Ooh, that's too big right there so I'm going to get that off Ooh, let's see where we get some more of this paint off See, I made a mistake on camera. I'm not going to edit that either. <laughs> so let's see if I can do that now. There we go. There. Much better. And these are going to be heavily dusted anyways, but I want to put a little bit of metallics after this. I'll get some of this on the other side. And I'm going to start to start finish this off camera, then I'll come back and show it to you real quick. As usual, thank you for joining me. We'll be back in a second. Okay, um, we got the um, heavy charcoal all in there. It looks all dinged up. and got the depth now. We got the dry brushing. got that now. Well, now I have some um, game color gunmetal, as you see right there at my palette. I have a small, tiny piece of blister foam in my self-closing tweezers, and I'm really going to just try to get a lot of this paint off. Let's see if I can just go over like little areas like on the corners. See if we can just 
pick up a little bit of the like metal coming out. This may be right there. Maybe just like a couple dings. And like right on top of that one scratch. See how it looks pretty good. Then there's a couple scratches there. Get some more of the paint going. I mean, I don't know if you're too fearful of the, the gun metal. And then we got little areas right there. Yeah, this looks kind of cool. And then you've got these like bolts that have been on and off with work tools. And I'm probably going to go through those tracks too eventually. Let's go to the other side. Unless we have some good marks over here. So we got this uh, little area right there. Maybe on that rim. The center there. Right there. There. Got a little ding there. Nice ding back there. So I, uh, you probably get the idea of it. So um, we're doing it really subtly, and I think I'm going to leave the wheels alone right now. And then we'll get the rest of the detailing done. It's basically done on this thing. Like, I, still, I still don't like the look of the um, grab handles, but that's because it's got that gloss varnish on it. And probably when you hit it with the uh, mat, it's going to bring it down and not look so bad. I think I'm starting to be okay with the inside of the uh, tank. It looks beat up enough on the inside of the battle wagon so uh i think that should be it for right now and i think we'll keep uh part 10 going a little bit longer and i'll see you in the next section thanks again for joining